24 state correction institutions are on lockdown this evening. We know that 30 staff members, some of them hospitalized, have been sickened by an unknown substance that has led to the lockdown across the Commonwealth. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live from our control center tonight with the very latest. And Cody, what is the Department of Correction saying tonight? Nick and Candace, good evening. The department insists its main focus is the safety of the employees at all correction institutions. Six of those facilities are in our area and will remain on lockdown until further notice. SCI Muncie, Waymart, Montanoy, Frackville, Dallas, and Retreat are all on lockdown. The focus and investigation has been centered around prisons in the western part of the state. Since August 6, 30 state prison staff members have been exposed to an unknown substance. Wednesday, five from the State Correction Institution of Albion near Erie fell ill. Officials say an officer was processing a parole violator and got sick. Then the medical team who helped that officer also fell ill. All were transported to a nearby hospital. The Department of Corrections say it needs to take action now and placed all state prisons in lockdown as a precaution. Secretary Wetzel said he's not going to stand for this anymore. We're going to we're going to batten down the hatches and we're going to stop this and we're going to ensure the safety of our of our officers and our staff. The lockdown means inmates will remain inside their cell for 24 hours a day. Most of the mail service to more than 46,000 inmates has been stopped. Visitors are not welcome, and it's now mandatory all workers must wear special gloves. We've increased the type of glove that we're giving them that is resistant to certain you know, types of chemicals. They're still not sure what exactly these are, so right now it's just been a crazy kind of an epidemic going on. The State Department of Corrections has been looking at putting 21st century scanners in each prison across the Commonwealth, which could potentially stop a drug violator before it's too late. An individual would enter it, much like you do at the airport, and low-dose x-ray will determine whether you have something on or in your body, whether it's a weapon or a drug. Governor Tom Wolf released a statement saying, quote, Pennsylvania's corrections officers put themselves in harm's way to make our Commonwealth safer, and it is up to us to provide them protection from harm. Now the six prisons in our area have not been exposed to this unknown substance. In the Control Center, Cody Butler, Eminence News. Let's hope Nick. they can keep it contained that to, to that part. All right, Cody, thank you. Ohio, by the way, is also dealing with a similar situation. Ross Correctional Institution south of Columbus had 20 officers and inmates experience possible opioid overdoses. Patients were treated on the scene and then later taken to the hospital. Authorities believe officers and inmates came in contact with fentanyl. That's a synthetic opioid. Officials say the incident happened in a cell block.